students today i am going to discuss about a uh, technique that is polymerase chain reaction this is very very important technique in the field of molecular biology recombinant dna technology just to amplify the sample dna from a single copy of dna if dna is present in nanogram quantity you can amplify huge quantity of dna for your experimental purpose okay so what is pcr it is polymerase chain reaction the product of the this reaction will utilize for the next reaction that's why we can say it is polymerase chain reaction okay so we can define the pcr as in vitro means inside the lab amplification means multiplication of dna inside the thermocycler thermocycler it is a machine also known as pcr machine through process of denaturation generally there is three steps in pcr one is denaturation one is annealing and one is amplification so three steps is required for complete process of one cycle and this cycle will repeat so many times so there is a denaturation annealing and amplification in presence of requirement as sample dna which dna you want to multiply then tag dna polymerase that is the enzyme just like dna polymerase in presence of dna polymerase only we can multiply the multiple copy of dna and then dntp it is the raw material just to join together by phosphodiester bond and then primer primer will provide the hydroxy group only then this dna polymerase will work and join the b and tp one by one the complementary of the sample dna and double distilled water that is universal solvent and tag polymerase buffer a buffer system for the dna polymerase that is tag dna polymerase and magnesium ion you can also much add it for factor so these are the uh, this is is known as pcr is known as pcr is known as reacted for the next year okay and then we can get multiple copy of dna so first of all scientist carry muris who had discovered this uh, new technique or technology in the field of molecular biology in 1983 and has got it nobel prize for that okay so very very important for your uh, examination point of view for your competitive examination point of view what is pcr and try to know what are the steps required for pcr so steps for pcr steps for pcr first is denaturation denaturation so we can say Five to ten minute initial denaturation. It is essential to convert double stranded DNA into single strand. Suppose this is double stranded DNA, and you can say this is the three prime OH five prime phosphate OH. If it will convert into single strand, only then it will amplify the DNA. Otherwise, it will not amplify the DNA. Okay? So that is very very important. This breaking of hydrogen bond of both the strands. Okay? And then it will convert it into single strand. Okay? So initial denaturation for initial. Initial 
denaturation. Okay? That is very, very important. Means you have to convert all the double stranded DNA into single strand. Okay? So this is double strand, all the DNA converted into single strand form by breaking of hydrogen. Okay? Next, next step again denaturation. That is A. Denaturation. Denaturation means one minute denaturation you can say. Then some step that is annealing. Annealing. And then that is extension or polymerization. Okay, so there are three steps it will repeat each time. This step will occur in the initial before starting the reaction, complete denaturation of all the sample strand, uh, DNA strand. Then now come to the cycle in case of PCR. They get denaturation at 94 degrees Celsius. And then handling. It is approximately uh, 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. Okay? And then extension. It is a fix at 72 degrees. 72 degrees Celsius. So while we are putting the denaturation process at 94 degrees Celsius, you know source of tag DNA polymerase that is we obtain from hot spring. Hot spring means with a hot flow of water at 94 degrees Celsius where there is a bacteria. Which bacteria is there? Thermus aquaticus. Thermus aquaticus. So this is the bacteria where scientists have obtained a protein and that protein is used as a DNA because this protein we are obtaining from thermus aquaticus bacteria present in hot spray hot spray ok so it is highly stable up to 94 degrees Celsius up to 90 4 degrees Celsius. So, where we are using denaturation at 94 degrees Celsius, where all the hydrogen bond present between two strand will break down. And then it will convert into single strand. So, this is the initial concept that all the double strand DNA converted into single strand, and then process of amplification will occur. Next test means you can do initial gestation for 4 to 6 minutes. Okay. And then denaturation. Uh, then you can say denaturation 1 minute. Sometimes you can also find uh, 30 seconds. Or then handling. Uh, you can say uh, 30 seconds. Okay. And then extension of polymerization 1 minute. Okay, it will vary from species to that temperature. So, uh, there is software generated by scientists, and you have to fit the software for the uh, software for the process of chemical reaction occur inside the thermocycler or PCR machine. So, you have to fit the data software that will do the process of denaturation, annealing, and extension inside the thermocycler and then we put the cocktail. You know cocktail means mixture of different type of reagents. So cocktail means mixture of different type of reagent in the PCR tube. This is suppose this is a PCR Okay? And you can find a PCR tube like that and then it over. So here you will put the more inside. Okay? So here you put a template DNA tag DNA polymerase, D and TP, then primers, okay, and then 
uh, universal solvent that is the double steel water, that DNA always buffer, magnesium ion. So all these will mix. Okay. And then you give like a spin. A spin means mixing. Okay. Just like what I said, there is a small instrument to which you can spin so that it will mix properly. Okay. So after mixing, you put this inside the thermocycler where you can test the 96 number. Inside the thermocycler, you can put the 96 sample together. Okay. To a small PCR tube. This is a PCR tube. Where all the reagent will mix. If you will not put template DNA initiation, you will not occur photopolymer. Okay. So what do you mean by DNA initiation? means simple breakdown of hydrogen bond between double stranded. Then what do you mean by annealing? Annealing that is binding of the primer with what? Uh, annealing means binding of primer with DNA. Okay. In presence of tag DNA polymer. So you have to decide the annealing temperature. Okay. So suppose generally then uh, primer is required. Primer will initiate the reaction and primer will provide the hydroxy group. If hydroxy group is not there in the chemical reaction, then reaction will not start. So they need of primer and primer is here double uh, uh, single stranded DNA. It will provide the free gas. This is high prime phosphate. So that primer is complementary to the template DNA. That primer is complementary to the template DNA and the primer length will decide the angling temperature. Primer length will decide the angling temperature. So there is a one formula, angling temperature. Okay? Angling temperature. Okay? So there is a four B plus C plus 2 A plus B. So that is required. So to define the annealing temperature and then extension it is fixed for all. The natural temperature and extension temperature is fixed. 94 degrees Celsius and 72 degrees Celsius. But annealing temperature it will vary from a species to a species sample to sample. Okay? So this is all about, about the process of one cycle that is the denaturation and the extension. Again, it will start at one cycle. Okay. So you can fix the cycle in the program. This software inside the PCR machine or thermocycler. If it is prokaryotic DNA, the low uh, uh, cycle number. And if it is eukaryotic DNA, then high cycle. Okay. So now try to understand what happens during chemical reaction in PCR? Okay. So first of all, you have to draw two lines. What you mean by two lines? That is DNA spread. Okay. Two lines means DNA spread. Okay. So all of you try to know what happens during PCR reaction. What happens during PCR reaction? Okay. So, simple, this is double stranded DNA, okay, and this is 5 prime phosphate, this is 3 prime OH, okay, this is 5 prime phosphate, and this is 3 prime OH. If it is double stranded DNA, no amplification occurs. But if it is single stranded DNA, only then amplification occurs. So, try to see what happens during Denaturation. Denaturation means both the strand is going to separate. Both the strand is going to separate. Okay. So hydrogen bond between these two strands will break. Okay. So this is separated strand, 5 prime phosphate and 3 prime OH, and this is 5 prime phosphate and this is 3 prime OH. Now. During annealing, what happens? Try to know during annealing, what happens? Annealing. 
This is handling estate of PCI. To deliver them to you at 94 degrees Celsius for 1 to 2 minutes. Okay? Again, handling 1 minute. Okay? So, what happens? In handling, you try to binding of the primer agar. Binding of primer agar in handling. Okay? So this is my prime object and this is pre prime. Okay. So they try to know primer will bind at pre prime, not five prime. Primer will bind at pre prime in of the both aspects. So this is pre prime in and this is pre prime. And primer will be complementary to this aspect. Okay. So the direction of primer will be like that. Okay. This is five prime object and this is three prime OH. Okay. Again, you can add the primer here. Okay. So that is five prime phosphate and this is three prime. If primer is not there, no PCR reaction will close. Okay. Why? Because it will provide three times OH. And this will initiate the reaction in presence of magnesium ion, in the presence of DNDP, in the presence of that in a purpose, it will proceed for the chain reaction for polymerization. So this is handling step. Now come to next step that is extension. So what is extension? Just try to do. This is double scalar DNA, this is 5 prime phosphate and this is 3 prime OH. And this is 5 prime phosphate and this is 3 prime. So you have to add the prime, primer from that in only, okay? And this is also a primer. So there is a two, one set of primer means two primer will add simultaneously. Two primer will add simultaneously at both the ends of double strand DNA. Then one by one in presence of that DNA polymerase, polymerization will occur. Okay? So that step is known as Polymerization. 